I feel like I'd be doing you guys a disservice if I said that Bleach Soul Resurrection was a good game, but at the same time, I'd be lying if I said I didn't at least kind of enjoy the two or three hours I spent playing this game. Bleach Soul Resurrection is a 2011 PS3 game that covers the beginning of the Hueco Mundo arc, and it's a... Uh, it is definitely a video game. When I was doing research for this video, there was a surprising lack of information about this game. I mean, it has a Wikipedia page, but, but the page is fucking empty, bro. Look at the development section. Th this is literally three sentences. So the game was developed by Japan studio Anrakjin, and it was also published by Sony Computer Entertainment. You might recognize Japan's studio from games like Ape Escape and Parappa the Rapper. Y you remember Parappa the Rapper? And Ape Escape? Yeah, they made them. They also made a bunch of other Bleach games, like the Heat the Soul series, the two Soul Carnival games. They do have experience with Bleach games. And Rakjin, still not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, also has experience with anime games, like Bleach, Blade Battlers, a, a fucking a bunch of Full Metal Alchemist games, a Naruto game. These guys should know what they're doing. So did they do a good job with Bleach Soul Resurrection? Eh, well, I mean, they didn't do a bad job. Bleach Soul Resurrection is a good, bad anime game, if that makes sense. It's not as good as other anime action adventure games like World Seeker or even DBZ Kakarot, but it's not as bad as shit like Tokyo Ghoul Call to Exist. Like, like, it's not that fucking bad. So what do you actually do in this game? Well, there's only three game modes, those being Story Mode, Mission Mode, and Soul Attack Mode. This game's Story Mode is kind of just the bare minimum. It kind of tells the story, but to be honest, if you've never watched Bleach, then this is just gonna seem like a fever dream. But let's be honest, guys, nobody on Earth is playing Bleach Soul Resurrection for the story. You play it so you can play as your favorite Bleach characters, so how is the combat? It's mid. It's nothing special, not horrendous, but it's not good at all. But actually, no, it is pretty fucking bad, let's be honest. It's literally just a reskinned Musou game. It plays just like Pirate Warriors or Dynasty Warriors, except the enemy population is less dense, which kind of makes it less enjoyable. The main reason for playing Musou games is the power fantasy. It's so you can fucking tear through massive groups of enemies as your favorite characters, but in Bleach Soul Resurrection, the groups of enemies are not massive. A lot of the time, the enemies will be scattered around in groups of three or four, and it becomes very annoying. But at the very least, every character in this game has this dash movie you can do which makes getting to enemies a lot easier. Now on to the combat. Well, there, there isn't really much to talk about. The combat consists of your basic main attack chain and then there's like some special abilities, but yeah, that's really it to be honest. Maybe some transformations for certain characters, but yeah, that's it. It gets boring very quickly, which isn't that much of a problem since this game is pretty short. I mean, look, this dude finished it in like two hours. That's, that's impressive. That, that's cool. And also, to be fair, another thing that stops the game from feeling too repetitive is that you change characters damn near every mission. The game has 21 playable characters, and they're all surprisingly unique. When I started playing the game, I expected every character to essentially just be a reskin and have the same movement, but no, that really wasn't the case at all. I was presently surprised to find out how differently each character plays. And to be clear, it, like this isn't fucking Guilty Gear or like Fighter Z. It's not a fighting game with, where each character has completely different mechanics and shit. It is still an anime beat em up. But for an anime beat em up, I don't know, the characters were pretty unique in their gameplay. And one more positive thing I will say about the gameplay is that the boss fights are surprisingly decent. At the end of every level there's a boss fight and these were actually kind of enjoyable. Using the lock on function to just target one enemy and just focusing on them made this game's combat a lot more enjoyable. And the bosses weren't half bad. Yeah, but apart from that the story mode is shit. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I know I gave it some compliments but it, it, it's not good at all to be honest. You just dash from place to place fighting enemies and half the time you don't even have to. Like. You can just skip a lot of the engagements in the game, and to be honest, why wouldn't you? There's no actual reason to fight when you don't have to, you can just skip most of it and fight when you need to. Just fucking spam sword slashes, bro, it's not good. I'm sorry man, I'm not a game developer, but like, what the fuck is this, bro? This is not good game design. This is not good game design. Moving on from the story mode, the mission mode is essentially just like a free play mode. It's the same as the story mode except there is no story and you can pick your own character. Like the story mode, it's just, it's just you dashing from place to place fighting enemies, but there are some different environments, and you can use the characters you unlock from playing the story mode, so it's not completely useless. I mean, the mission mode is cool, but it's nothing special, bro. It's just more of the same. Like, it is slightly better than the story missions, but like, it's like upgrading shit to garbage. Like, it's still fucking horrible. And last but not least is the soul attack mode. Okay, so the soul attack mode is like just a level above the mission mode. Instead of just being the story mode without the story, the soul attack mode is a bit more interesting. Rather than just beating up enemies until you fight a boss, this mode switches it up a little. It gives you multiple different objectives you can complete, like defeating a certain amount of enemies within a specific amount of time. Uh, okay, well I can't actually remember the other shit you did, but there was definitely other stuff you could do. And that kind of sums up my experience with the game. It was definitely a game, I definitely played it, and I didn't hate it, but 
I don't know if I'd say I enjoyed it. I definitely had some fun playing it, but I don't know if I'll ever play this game again and I don't know if I'd recommend anyone to ever play this game. Like, usually I'd say to play this game if you're a Bleach fan, but you really shouldn't. You'd be better off playing one of the PSP games or fucking Jump Force. Like, even a game like Tokyo Ghoul Recall to Exist has some substance to it, cause like, you can play it to see how bad it is. Like, it's astonishingly bad, you can play it to learn how to not make a game. But Bleach Soul Resurrection is just mid. Nothing interesting about it, nothing bad or cool. It's just, eh. It's just meh. It's like vanilla ice cream. Not even. It's like fucking broccoli ice cream. It's just a thing that exists. Also, you couldn't fucking play the game if you wanted to. It's, it's a PlayStation 3 exclusive, and I don't think it's available online for purchase anymore. So, uh, unless you want to commit an illegal crime, good luck finding it. And that's the end of the video. This was supposed to be a, I'm going to make noise. These are the noises I avoid making when I record in my closet. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, that, this was supposed to be a review of the JoJo fighting game All Star Battle R. But halfway through writing the script, my my Game Pass membership am I out it? My Game Pass membership ran out, and I kind of needed that to play the game because I'm not gonna buy it. So uh, yeah, the review is on hold until further notice. So I started searching through the trenches for. I'm so retarded, bro. Okay, so the review is until further notice, and when I realized that, I started searching through the fucking trenches of my notes app to find a new video to make, and I found out, I found, what the hell? I found an unfinished review of this fucking shit Bleach game, so here you go. I hope you enjoyed the vid, if you didn't, then fucking tell me why you didn't in the comments down below. As always, this has been your boy Jugo Young, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!